friends good morning my name is bandaj am sandekar and i welcome you all to precision technicals today we are going to discuss the view on the market uh, so let's see the chart of the nifty we we'll look at the chart of the nifty in three uh, th- for three different time frames first is the long term chart then the medium term chart and also the short term chart to generate a complete view on what is expected from the nifty as well as the markets so first let's look at the chart of the nifty uh, now here on the nifty you will be able to see that i have plotted a horizontal line at the level of 6358 uh, you can see that the initial rally which uh, earlier started in 2002 2003 it went up to make a high of 6358 in uh, 2000 uh, jan of 2008 after that we had a fall again we had a v shape recovery in 2010 the markets again faced resistance at the same old level that is 6358 again we had a selling which came in and then again a rally uh, to test resistance at that same old level so we have a we had a triple top kind of a resistance between uh, so first was 2008 the second was 2010 and the third was 2013 finally in march of 2014 the nifty gave us a breakout above this triple top resistance a triple top resistance is a very major resistance for the markets the moment this breakout happened in march of 2014 the nifty told us that it is now ready to move into a complete different level so re rating for the whole market was going to start on this breakout and that's the same thing that we have observed from there on the nifty straight went up to make a high of 9100 uh, in the first half of 2015 first quarter of 2015 and then right now we find that the nifty has been consolidating so if you look at the overall chart of the nifty you'll find that the nifty has been moving up it's in a steady uptrend making higher tops and higher bottoms and the current down move is just a consolidation of the earlier rally that we have witnessed from 2013 till the first quarter of 2015 so the long term is intact the most important thing which i would like to tell you on this particular chart is that uh whenever you have this kind of a triple top resistance and a triple top resistance been broken at that moment the price gets into a re rating mode by re rating i mean to say usually it has been observed that the price has a price uh, is ready to double from that level so in this case the breakout level is 6350 approx so the target for the nifty is 12700 and this usually happens in 3 years of time frame from the breakout so if this has to be true then the breakout has happened in march of 2014 so the target of 12700 for the nifty is expected to be achieved by march of 2017 so this is the long term view on the market uh, friends now let us have a look at the weekly chart of the nifty so that we can judge the medium term view uh, on the markets uh, now the chart that you are seeing is a weekly chart for the nifty i have plotted uh, support and resistance lines plus i have plotted a channel that the nifty is currently trading in now on this chart you will be able to see uh, that from september august september of 2013 from a level of 5200 the nifty went up straight to make a high of 9100 uh, by march of 2015 you can see the cursor that i am moving on the chart after that the nifty has been consolidating in a downward biased channel Uh, plotted here with two downtrend lines uh, this candle which i have uh, uh, highlighted with the cursor this is the day when we had the election results the 2014 general election results were announced on this day on this day the nifty made a high of 7563 now the reason for me to tell you this is we have been hearing a lot about this modi euphoria and the modi rally in the market and prices having uh, run away from or run ahead of fundamentals and if you look at the current chart then this chart tells me that this the the high that the nifty made on the day of election results was 7563 
recently in the month of september 2015 in this consolidation that we have been witnessing for the last uh, 8 to 10 months the nifty tested support at that same old level this also means that the modi euphoria has been nullified so the moment the price came and tested the uh, high that the prices nifty had made on the election results they nullified the modi euphoria so we are back to where we were in 2014 okay so now does that mean the market would take support here or would it continue to uh, trade in a downtrend that we are right now witnessing now if you look at the chart the chart tells us the weekly chart still continues to tell us that yes the bias is downwards and this would change only when the nifty has crossed the higher end of this channel which is at around 8200 so 8200 is going to be a resistance for the market and once the a level of 8200 is crossed that would be a confirmation for us that yes the medium term trend of the nifty has again changed into an uptrend so that's something which is there the second important thing is if you look at these two levels 7725 and 7563 these are major support resistances for the nifty right now if you look at the current closing let me zoom the chart the the current candle formation based on the uh, last two candles now this is a two shorter time frame but looking at the last two candles they tell me that if i compare these two candles with the earlier uh, bottom then this seems to be a higher bottom but again it's too early for us to judge whether it's a higher bottom until and unless nifty really breaches 8200 but as of now you need to watch this level of 7725 as a major support for the nifty now let's look at the short term uh, short term view on the market based on the daily charts the daily charts again now looking at this if you look at this chart here this chart also will tell you that yes it clearly shows you the downtrend channel that the nifty is moving in okay now there's one positive that has happened recently now if you look at these levels the levels uh, where i have plotted these red arrows and green arrows the nifty was trading between a range recently uh, the range was 7875 7, on the higher side and the support or the lower end of the range was 7725 so it was trading between this support and resistance two days back the nifty decided the price of the nifty decided to move in the upward direction so it gave us this breakout when the price decided to move on the upward direction after this consolidation ideally this nifty is telling me that right now the price is now heading towards the higher end of the channel which is at around 8200 so nifty should right now be moving up this view will remain intact till the time this support of 7725 is not broken so support of 7725 is a crucial one for the nifty for now so friends the short term chart is telling us that the nifty is right now ready to move to test resistance at 8200 so that could be a short term target for the nifty and this view that we have discussed will remain intact till the time nifty trades above 7875 and 7725 these two levels are going to act as a major support for the nifty in the days to come till the time the support is not broken watch the nifty move up for a target of 8200 i believe this is a great time for everybody to be in the stock market this could be an opportunity where the nifty could make a higher bottom and it could also make a higher top crossing 8200 so that will be an ideal time for you to start investing to be invested and reaping the benefits as the nifty moves in the next leg of the rally friends thank you for joining me in this session on the view on the market and the nifty for any help that you need you can call our support numbers 020-6686-8686 to stay updated on the market and on stocks you can watch my business shows on business channel ET now the schedule is available on our website 
as well as on our facebook page and you can also stay updated by joining us on twitter i would like to end the session with a favorite quote of mine which is opportunities do not have a habit of sending an sms before they come therefore friends you need to know this for sure that you are not going to receive an sms which tells you that come and invest in the market no you need to know that the time is now today november 2015 you have to be in the stock markets thank you for joining me on this session on the view on the nifty and the market thank you thanks a lot